Welcome into the Sports Call Recap. J.J. Jackson with Ryan LaVoy following Auburn's 21-14 loss to the Georgia Bulldogs in the Deep South's oldest rivalry. Auburn entered the fourth quarter of play, trailing 21 to nothing, made a furious comeback, but fell up seven points short at the end of the fourth quarter. Ryan, what were your biggest takeaways tonight? Well, I think first and foremost, you'd be remiss if you didn't talk about Gus Malzahn that offense. Uh, it put the team in such a poor position that it had a fantastic fourth quarter and it wasn't quite enough to come back and win the game. Obviously, it wasn't bad every single down. They had a couple drives in the first half that they moved the ball. One, one ended in a Bonex fumble. One was a 47-yard field goal attempt that was missed on a fourth and three, which was a decision for Gus Malzahn to make. They had a couple drives in the first half where they were close, but ultimately it's all about points because when you flip the sides of the ball, Auburn only allowed 250 yards to Georgia, but Georgia had 21 points because basically 90% of those yards came on those three scoring drives. And so for Auburn, you've got to piece those together sooner than they did in the fourth quarter. you got to have points. I think the crowd did a fantastic job of staying in the game. And obviously the players did a fantastic fantastic job of playing throughout four quarters because honestly after three quarters when it was 21 nothing, we were talking about how Auburn hadn't been shut out at home since 2012 and, and all the ramifications of this. And then all of a sudden 15 great minutes for Auburn and the mood feels different in the sense, oh, they really battled. But the truth is is that they played really poorly on offense for three quarters. They have a head coach who's been criticized for his offensive game plans, and he did not offer a great game plan tonight. It was a game that featured nearly 900 yards of total punt yards, with the punters being some of the biggest stories in today's game. Field position was certainly a factor in this one, as Auburn's offense, as you said, multiple three and outs and that sort of thing. Defense kept a minute. And uh, Auburn did have a shot there at the end. What a fourth quarter it was by Auburn to make it a football game at the end. It was, and that's why you can't just be 100% negative. There has got to be a time to re at least reflect on the efforts because there's been Auburn teams in the past before Gus Malzahn got to Auburn that would have quit. And the score would have been 42-0 final instead of 21-14, which it ultimately was. Uh, but... You know, it's it's give and take there. And, and back to what you just said about the field position. The lower scoring the game, the more important field position was. Because I talked about Auburn had two or three drives in the first half that were decent. They didn't result in points, though, because they were starting at their own 15, at their own 20. They, I think they had two drives over 40 yards. Usually, if you move the ball 40 or 50 yards in a drive, you expect to at least get three points out of that, but they obviously didn't get any. So field position, Georgia's punter did a fantastic job punting for over 500 total yards on 11 punts. He really pinned Auburn deep a couple times, and that makes a difference in low score games like this. Once again, 21-14, the final score, Georgia over Auburn. The Tigers fall to 7-3 and three overall on the season. Next Saturday, they host Sanford. You're watching the Sports Call Recap. I'm J.J. Jackson with Ryan LaVoy. We're back on the air, WTGZ 93.9, Monday at 4 o'clock. We'll see you then.